Mid Michigan women tell Six News they want to warn others about a handyman who they say you do not want to hire. They say he cashed their checks for a down payment and they haven't heard from him since. Shamir Owens is here for you now with how they say he reeled them in. Siobhan, Winnie Gailey and Carol Hargrove say they needed work done in their homes and when they came across an ad on the Nextdoor app by Joshua Day, they say they thought he'd be a trustworthy hire, but now they say he was the total opposite. <laughs> like a sucker. Actually, you know, I feel taken advantage of. Feeling 70-year-old Winnie Gailey says she began to have after she claims Joshua Day stole more than $1,000 from her earlier this year. My uh, utility room, same deal. I had, like, there were three or four layers of flooring that I wanted removed and um, a new floor put down. So she went online looking for a handyman to do the job. Just found him on next door, um, just a, a line, you know, saying that he did home repairs. According to this ad on the app, Joshua Day says he offers low prices for a variety of home repairs. But Gailey says when she gave him the requested $1,200 down payment, it was one excuse after another as to why he wouldn't be coming to do the job. Car broken down, still working on the job he was on, um, sick, being sick. Um, he moved, supposedly. And Gailey says he eventually stopped responding. She then made a post on Nextdoor about her experience with Day. She says that's when she met 65-year-old Carol Hargrove, who says he did the same thing to her. I gave him $175 cash. He did a little scraping on the ceiling, very little. And after making an appointment for Day to come back and finish the job? He um, told me that his um, car, his truck was broke down. He couldn't get a hold of me because his phone, his cell phone was broke. Gailey and Hargrove say while they know they probably won't get their money back, they want others to beware. He should be ashamed of himself. I think that we need to stop him from ripping other people off. I have called, texted, emailed, and even gone to an address Day gave one of his customers to get his side of the story, but haven't heard anything back yet. Six News will keep you updated as we learn more on this story. Siobhan? All right, thank you.